CFTC Chair Benham says, number one accomplishment is track record of enforcement actions. Um, so the CFTC Chair recently spoke on a panel hosted by a law firm, Lowenstein Sadler, and he says he gets very irritated when folks talk about the CFTC as a more favorable regulator. He should actually be happy that we're saying that they're a little bit more favorable because the um, we don't like the SEC. We don't really care for Gary Gensler because he's actually done nothing um, positive for the crypto industry, in my personal opinion. Um, but he says that the CFTC's greatest accomplishment was his track record of crypto-related enforcement actions. And the CFTC wasn't attempting to play fast and loose. I love that saying <laughs> when it comes to enforcing commodities laws <laughs> against crypto firms. And they said that we also be very creative in how the agency applies existing laws to encourage exchanges to come into the regulatory fold. And he also said they do not have the resources to do its own data analytic investigations, which is absolutely ridiculous when you're an enforcement agency. I think Will's hand went up first, but if Jen and Will want to fight for this on this Taco Tuesday, I'm for it. I'll duke it out. I'm CFTC, you're SEC. Now we'll dig into it really quick and I'll throw it over to Jen. This headline I mean, is it's shaking a little bit. I like it. I like that they threw this one out there because I think it reminds you who we're dealing with. We're dealing with regulators. A lot of people talk about the CFTC and they're like, oh, we want them to be the enforcement team on this. They've been more friendly to the industry to date. Well, that might be true in some instances where we've liked some of the things that they've said. At the same time, they're a regulator. They come at it from a very different angle than any four of us on this show are going to come from it. And anyone else in the industry is going to come at crypto from. It's going to be completely different. It's more than likely going to mirror what the SEC has done, right? You're going to see enforcement action on a limited basis against high profile names for a lot of money. We're not going to see this huge regulatory rollout of lots of laws, regulations, very clear. They're not going to go after every bad actor in the space. It's not going to happen because they don't have the funds to do that. I don't see that ever happening. And if Congress, you know, if they throw a million dollars on, they throw a few billion dollars on to figure this out, can they still even do that? I mean, there's literally thousands of token pairs on Uniswap, thousands of token pairs on Uniswap that are utterly meaningless and just meant for Ponzi scheming and extracting money from retail and have no idea what they're purchasing. And it's very, very, very difficult to go and find out where these people exist, where their IPs are traced to, where that money is being cashed out. The CFTC and SEC, they basically have a thankless job and they have to go after high profile people like Kim Kardashian the other week or EOS in the last cycle in order to stop any sort of big projects moving forward and extracting more rent from other people. So I think this headline is actually like needed and is, is interesting to see the CFTC fire back uh, after all the positive headlines that we've seen about them in the past. Jen, I'll throw it over to you. I just want to say that I recently said that the CFTC just wants the bag. They want that SEC money. They don't want to be our friends. They keep talking about it, how they do, they're do. they doing all this stuff. They don't have a lot of budget. We should feel sorry for them. Benham said that, you know, it's been a result of anonymous tips and whistleblowers. The agency doesn't currently have enough resources to do its own data analytics and investigations. They're only regulating through a pinhole. But if they had more funds, things could be different. This is the CFTC's moment to shine. The crypto, reg the crypto industry has a lot of money in both the industry and in regulation. And I think that the CFTC wants that. Zach? Yeah, they're tough. They're tough too. They, they can get that money. They're tough too. They're not the soft <laughs> pushover regulator. They're tough. And it's worth remembering that, you know, the CFTC is doing this DAO thing, with the Uki team. They led the charge mm -hmm. on BitMEX not long ago. We often forget about that. They've done quite a few high profile uh, instances of uh, regulation by enforcement. So he's not wrong when he says that that's a big part of what the CFTC brings to the fore when we're talking about crypto regulation. It's going to be really interesting to see how the territorial sort of turf war shakes out between the SEC and the CFTC, uh, especially after the midterm elections, right? We're going to see maybe a potential change in the guard in terms of who's going to be approving such things. And it's going to be really fascinating to see how it all shakes out. If the Bitcoin maxis get their wish of having the CFTC sort of regulating gold, regulating Bitcoin as though it's gold or corn futures or what have you, versus all that other noise in the in the in the ICO market or whatever, like it's going to be fantastic to see how it all shakes shakes out. And I think we're going to talk a little bit later about sort of this interesting relationship between ex regulators jumping over into the space to advance some of these policy aims. But interesting one to watch, and it's cool to see him talking tough on stage. Wendy, I'll toss it to you. 
Wouldn't it have been nice to just have had regulation or some sort of guidelines put in place like a couple of years ago instead of just wasting money and time, especially taxpayers' time and money on all of this banter back and forth? I feel like the SEC and the CFTC could have been so much more profitable with collecting fines. The IRS could have been collecting more taxes. Um, the industry could have advanced. Good things could have happened, but instead regulators are just being lazy, in my personal opinion. 